All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lord Seth. I'm joined by a lot of people here. We're doing episode, what is this? I think five of our Civilization VI playthrough. Um, I sound really weird because I had a whole bunch of dental work done on Thursday, so I have a fun retainer inside my mouth. Um, hopefully that'll be fixed at some point. We're doing this as a tester to also make sure that I can stream for six hours tomorrow without wanting to kill myself. Um, you can stream. Yes, I am joined with a whole host of people. As I said, we've got Squizzer. Of course. We have M Captain. Yay! <laughs> yes. God, yes. God. We have Skyrim. Hey. And we have Sith Kitten. Confused as fuck. <laughs> and that's good. Okay. Um. I'm looking at my frame rate. My frame rate is really kind of bleh. I wonder why. Oh, my GPU is 100% used. Nice. I don't say because it's as confused as I am. Well, it might be because I am outputting my stream to you guys. Give me a second here. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, stop showing it to us. We'll turn that it. off. And let's see if that God, helps. why do I want to see that? Oh, my. Ew. Ugh. And I'll turn off the virtual camera. So yeah, the virtual camera was what was killing the frame rate. Now we're back at, at full. Um, I wonder if I can just do this. And that way you guys can just... Yeah, okay, I can just watch. do that and you guys can just watch without the overlays. And, and that's fine. Alright. Yeah. So, uh, one of the problems with Civilization is you go back into the game and you don't know what the hell you were doing a week or two or five before yep fortunately there are little things that you can do to help you guys and i don't know if you guys are aware of this or not but if you go down to the map tax button on the mini map down there you can add attack and you can say oh i want to do something here and then you can say what kind of tack you want to add so like for example i i might go to the iron here and say i want to put a mine there and there it is on the board and says, hey, you dummy, build a mine there. So I have a tack for a city center here, basically at the Panama Canal or the Isthmus of Panama, I should say. I've got a couple of other tacks telling me what I needed to do. And hopefully that'll help me, um, you know, catch back up with what was happening in the game pretty quickly. So, and that's just one of the little things I... Oh, that's right. I had the whole freaking Canada blaze. That was fun. I yeah. forgot about that. Blazing you got a Canada. a forest fire up in the Calloway. Yeah. Right? You got some nice got some nice production now. I, I do, actually. Yes, I have some nice production. Now, you were mentioning before that has to be repaired by a builder, or... Uh, probably repaired or rebuilt, depending on how bad the fire was. Yeah, it, cause it looks like it's almost... Um, I mean, only the stuff you actually built. I mean, the forest just okay. comes back on its own, but any yeah. logging camps or whatever have to be rebuilt. Got it. I actually don't think that I had any of those get nailed, so I think I'm okay there. Um, it wants me to build a harbor, but I don't want to build it on top of there. Why did I say to build, build a, a harbor? harbor in the lakes? Plus two. Yeah, over here, right? Yeah. But I can build a harbor on the on the uh, edge of the St. Lawrence Seaway, though, and that'll work well. I'll get three oh, gold yeah. from that. So let's go ahead and build a... So I'm going to go over here and delete that tack, because I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Um, all right, so I've got, I've got my great general hooked up with my archer. And I don't have enough gold to upgrade to crossbowmen. That's fine. But we're going to move him down... I want to get him into a position to deal with this barbarian camp. Along with this archer. Uh, as usual, there's an AI that blocks where you want to go. So that's always fun. Oh yeah, there's, there's the fire. That's cool. So yeah, I, I guess I should build on the camps then, since uh, obviously everything's ablaze anyways. Let's see, what else do I want to build with my builder? I got two builds left. Alright, we definitely want to get... that 10 turns? Yuck. Ah! I'll go, I'll go to the... the fishies. 
All right. Turn is done. Oh. One thing I do like about this game, in Civ 5, it didn't work this way. If you ended your turn and somebody ended their movements, one of your uh, units ended their movement, and it still had like another action it could do, you, you essentially lost that action. So you had to be very careful to always like set it up so that you were not going to be like halfway through a move or something at the end of your turn in Civ 5. In Civ 6, it automatically says, hey, what do you want to do now that your guy is done? That's kind of nice. Oh, great. I have a blizzard up in the... up in oh. my north. Blizzards are fun. Mm, no, that's normal. My game just went to the uh, uh, I think I've crashed out again, so I think I'm going to call it. Wow. Do you think that was because you think it's because of internet? The turn ended, or? it immediately crashed out. I. My, okay, mine died and now it's kicked back. Okay, now I'm back in. It went back to the loading screen. So, okay, it, now yeah. Now it's back. That's a oh, resync. God. Okay, no. No, no, it's reset it again. There, it's back. Okay. It, that, that's that a weird. resynchronization. So it basically said, oh, I, I don't know what's going on. Let me let me get that info back. So, packed a loss or something, maybe. I don't know. All right, I'll, I'll, be, used to, I'll be used to that now. Okay, cool. That's good, though, that we were able to figure that out, at least. Uh, entertainment. Oh, I got negative one amenity, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, four. I kind of like the idea of building entertainment centers in the desert, because there's nothing you're going to get from it anyways. So let's do that. Ah, oh, right. Built our stuff. Okay. I'm waiting for Victor. Victor, I'm going to put on Panama, so I have to wait till I get Panama. Oh. I just have to get used to the, uh, the randomized tech tree again. That's kind of nice, isn't it? I don't know if you guys yeah. noticed, but I uh, I started I figured out how to stream my screen, so it's there through Discord. There you see go. What I'm doing. Your yeah, people celebrate a historic moment. We are the Papayan is the largest city in our sprawling empire, and other civilizations look to it in awe. Ha ha! I see, I see, I see the blizzard. <laughs> it's quite a crippling blizzard. Nice. Yeah, hey, you see it, eh? Yeah, I see it on the map. It's just over Kingston. <laughs> yeah. I see the, like, the far left edge on my uh, known area. Mm -hmm. Now, Sounds how about like you fun. come on over and say hi to me, bud? I don't want to come and walk into a blizzard. It, my units will not oh, enjoy no, it. Oh, there's no, there's no blizzard, actually, where you think it is. It's just on the top part of the map where I only have one place. Ah, the rest is in the south. Hmm. Kitten, feel free to ask any questions you might have. She has barbarians right off of her coast. I've got a bit of a barbarian problem at the moment. I've got two camps sprung up that are just spitting swordsmen at me. Hmm. It seems like a you problem. That is a you me problem, and I'm trying to fix it. I mean, I could come over and help. No, I don't need your help, Canadian. Yeah, I think you need my help. Ah, um, alright. Mm, sounds like you need my help. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? The like, United States? I like the defeated. I like the defeated. Alright. You can come over, sure. Yeah, I'm just uh, we're waiting for the next turn and then I'll send my... I'll send an envoy over to say hello. <laughs> you're not gonna... You're not gonna hit... You're not going to get over to where the paths are because my borders sort of just block it. I'm going to pause the game for recording just for a second here, guys. Right now, I just need to build units and grow population at this point. Yep, yep. All right, so we're resuming recording here. And I've got... Um... Pop that down for a sec. There we go. So this is... Uh, we're looking at Skyring's view right now. Why don't you give us a tour of your... Uh, your island while we're waiting your continent <laughs> yeah i'm in southern africa 
Ah, you, you built a pyramid, what? you jerk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and the pyramids. I got Kilimanjaro. I got this thing, which adds... What's it called? Singi de Bamaraha. Never heard of it. <laughs> and they got Bandar Brunei. Mm -hmm. Nice thing about Australia, when you build a pasture, you get a, you culture bomb the place. Yep. So I took all this land from them. Oh, nice. But my big problem is Babylon. I see that. I was at war with him for about the last 50 turns. And then he is built city walls. Is that his only city? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I would see it if it was up here. So, Looks yeah, like I, But is actually, I, on the... Sorry. Oh, well, actually, I stole two of his settlers. That's where two of these cities oh. came from. Oh. <laughs> right. So that's we... how I started the war. I just saw the settler just too tempted. We have a power user here, ladies and gentlemen. Power gamer. Uh, yeah, so... Why, why build settlers when you can just steal them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sitting back. I need to upgrade my military so I can finally go beat him. Mm. That's what I'm waiting on right now. And... I'm gonna need some entertainment as well. Yeah, I'm a little low on amenities in my area as well. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, by the way, yeah. look up look up that natural wonder um, at some point. You know, just on Google or something. The pictures are amazing. It it really looks like something oh. be a lot of fun to see in real life. Hmm. It's like this um, formation of like super jagged rocks that just come out. It's like imagine trying to like I don't know Tarzan swing through it. You'd probably get yourself cut up and dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right now, I think all we're waiting on is um, Sith Kitten to yeah. end turn. Yeah. Have any questions? No, I'm just kind of figuring things out as I look at this and click on shit. And... Mm hmm. That's, that's how you, that's the best way to learn. Seriously. And you already have the Empire kind of built out for you by the AI, so... Yeah. It's a little bit easier to... I just need to build, get some builders and finish building out. The AI never builds everything out. Yeah. A lot of games, I'm, I'm, you know, I have, I'm selling the next, next Empire over Silk, and they've got Silk right there. They just <laughs> don't put any... Yeah, it happens all the time. Oh, uh, good times. I just realized I do not have a lot of money. <laughs> Money's important. Yeah. All right. Well, here's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and pause recording until we get to the next turn. Yep, we can see it now. And I'm going to go ahead and record. So this is, uh, you know, we're looking at Sith Kitten's uh, game right now. And it says you can do a ranged attack. To see see uh, Majapit, the, your capital there, there's a little um, crosshair just underneath the, the, the name of it. So you're going to want to click on that. Hey. And then you're going to want to attack that uh, barbarian unit right there. That's weird. I can't... A little red boat. Yeah. And how do you attack it? You click on, the, click on the crosshairs. Yeah, like that. Just No, you had it. Yep. If it, see the, if it shows click that arrow, yeah. then yeah. There you go. For some odd reason, it doesn't want to... For some odd reason, it doesn't want to show... And then it says next turn. Yeah. Okay. Also, there you go. Also, all those units in the water, you want to get them out of the water because none of those are, are, are sea fighters. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't know, but I had already hit next, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, it's all good. Late. You have a settler there. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were still looking because you guys were going to the next turn. Hold on. It doesn't matter. You don't have to, to share yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay. Might be kind of fun at some point to, to put that in there, but uh, it looks like everybody's ended their turn now, right? Yep. It says saying, please wait. Yep. Ta-da! Yep. And where are, what are you guys doing here? That was weird. Okay, there's a village. Of course, of course, uh, when I'm one turn away from taking the barbarian encampment, of course you're going to have a barbarian spawn in it. Yeah, it always works out that way. Yep. Be aggressive with my settler position. See what happens. Alright, here, building a campus would be good. Oh, four, but I have to kill the deer off. Three is nice. Right, if you're just Hunter Hills, let's buy the tile, build the campus. You know, it's gonna do their turn. Welcome. Force has regrown. Storm features out. No amenities. Cool. So once you get into it, 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 it just takes a little bit to, you know, uh, get your turns figured out and stuff. But after that, generally you get an idea of what you're doing and off you go. While we're waiting, we'll take a look at uh, what Skyrim is up to. He's also finished his turn. I'm just looking at policies to rebalance here. Policies are a really cool way uh, that you can impact your uh, government and stuff like that. It's something I can talk about here. So you get these different policies and you can choose what you want to put into your um, places. Each government has a different layout of policies and stuff. And then when you unlock a new policy, you get to change it up, everything for free. Um, if you absolutely need a policy now, you can oh. spend gold to unlock it. <laughs> God, I did the policy that I did. Oh, thank God, I'm not bank. I'm not going bankrupt anymore. Thank. Oh, God. there you go. There you go. Making money. Oh, All right. Yeah, yeah, I was. I'm not kidding. I was literally like a coin, a turn away from having no money at all. Oh. Oops. Toronto needs more yeah. housing. Yeah, I just jumped to monarchy just a, like two turns ago. I'm set up to upgrade my units and get, get money and upgrade units with them. Monarchy already? Yeah. Yeah, I'm four turns off monarchy. Perfect. Yeah, I just got monarchy. What the hell? I'm behind. My god, I can't believe I just I like recovered that. from that. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, um, I get monarchy with divine rights, so yeah, one turn away from it for me. Sith, just a fair warning, I'm just sending boats across your, uh, across your country to go check out Squizzer. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I wanted to, I want to declare friendship. As soon as it lets me. <laughs> it's because you're currently, um, you've ended your turn, so you can't do it. 
Yeah, yeah he, unfortunately, but I did uh, I did accept uh, French the friendship or I will just say I'll al becoming allies with you, uh, Skiz. So if you unfinish your turn, you just go back down and, and click on the bottom right corner. Um, you can yeah, then I mean, go if into you diplomacy. The, if you accept the friendship, then that counts as a declaration. So like I can go and uh, there we go. Do diplomacy now with Congo. Uh, we could choose to declare our friendship if we wanted to. And I can take over city states just by using diplomatic envoys, right? Or yes. No? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So I'm trying to win over Singapore. I'll take nine gold per turn, why not? I got sent another envoy to Singapore. And if ever I get them, then I have all of Japan to myself and Korean Peninsula. There you go. World Congress. World Congress. Try that. Huh, lol. If you're not sure what to do, kitten, just click around and say submit. It's not that big of a deal early on. Last time I you only do you vote one period or one in each section? One in each section. So a, the A and B sections you vote in mm -hmm. for okay. all, so all four. All four. Okay. And yeah. then you can choose um, to do like you know put more votes yes or no for something, and uh, that costs you influence. So it's up to you if you want to use that influence now or bank it for later. Okay. Too sweet. All right, we'll pause it until we finish this. All right, Man, we're I done. Need again. Public relations passed. Oh, Squishy gets 100% more grievances. Because why not? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's time for war. <laughs> I was going to say, doesn't that basically mean it's, uh, it's easier for people to declare war on you? Yes. Only if I do things that annoy them. Oh, right. Look at that. And then it's 50% cheaper to produce units. Yeah. All right. That'll be fun. Well, okay, that's weird because those aren't the issues that I had when I voted. I had the plus four gold to a certain player. I had plus four gold as well. Yeah, you'll be right. And that's then weird. Uh, the second one was uh, 
extra combat, religious combat strength. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take the one that happened, but I, that's not the one I had to vote on. Yeah. <laughs> that's very strange. Yeah. Because I would have voted the same way, but... <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Toronto's revolting against me. That's a shocker. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need to uh, head out right. at night at, uh, in about... 10 minutes or so. Okay. So, you guys can keep going, but I'll let the AI continue what it was doing. No problem. Huh? Tor you said Toronto's revolting. Is it on the border with Eleanor? Uh, no, it's it's uh, on the it's with the um the Indonesia. It's on the border with Indonesia. Okay. That's uh, why no, there's, 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 there's Toronto, a nine pop. Tor Toronto's closer to. Um, it, it's the nine pop this, uh, Indonesian city that's that's doing the problem because it's got like okay. nine populations yeah. worth of influence just okay. absolutely blowing Toronto up. Well, no, just... Toronto, no, skis. Toronto's up in the north. Hamilton's the one that borders with Sith. Oh, is it? Hamilton and Hamilton now is in under com under complete control of me. With I'm just I'm just I'm just looking at. Uh, is Toronto next to a mountain? It's next to a mountain on the other side. It's on the other side of Everest. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that, that's close to one of Sith City, big cities. It's on the other side of the mountains. Yeah, hmm. but, oh, you would think... Which is, which is what's influencing it. Okay. It's within nine tiles. Oh, I hope I get a governor soon. Um... Yeah, you've got 14 turns before it goes rebel. <laughs> mm-hmm. Keep yeah, going but... if it continues. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, okay. Nah, I just realized that Eleanor was in the game, and it, if you're on the border with Eleanor, that's what she does. Yeah, it's mega influence. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I did I did that this week. I played a game with her. I completely conquered Scythia, by no, and I never was in a war. I just, you just got to have lots and lots of population. Uh, and artifacts. That's her thing. Yeah, and artifacts. Everything. Yeah. Every artifact she has is negative one to all cities around it. So mm. you just start shifting your artifacts over. Hmm. Man, this mad at arms really just ripped a new one into my uh, archer. Good times. Hmm. Yeah, those are upgraded swordsmen. They're gonna. Yep. They're gonna hurt. Actually, Zap, if you want to switch back over to my screen, I can show you something. All right, let's take a look. Go ahead. Right. Okay, you see up here, I have the list of all the people, but I have all their stats mm -hmm. down here. That's a really nice thing to have. Right. The overall score, military strength. You can get that by going into the options. All right. And interface... Show yields and HUD ribbon. Always show. Yep. And should be it. Yeah. 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 That's very helpful for you. Not so helpful for me in this situation simply because I only know one other yep. person. <laughs> yeah, you haven't met anybody. <laughs> but it's always nice, especially if you're at war with somebody, you can see relatively how strong they are. Mm. Always keep tabs on how good you are doing in science as well. And culture. Yeah, I'm a little behind on both of those, but I like to spread like the plague first, and then I uh, tech up. So, Wait how did someone I... choose a technology to research? Uh, it should give you a choice, and you just click which one you want to pick. Oh, what's this? Oh, squishy disconnected. No worries, he said he had to go, unfortunately. And AI will control this game for a bit. How much experience does this guy have? Let's bit away. I can 
sucks. And soon we're going... Are we going into medieval or are we leaving out of medieval? I think we're going into it right now. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to pause to the end of the turn. And we're back. Let's see what happens pure over here. Insanity. What'd you say? The pure insanity. I have no idea what I'm doing. Welcome to Sif. That's uh, the first That's the first time you play it. That's the experience, man. You know? Uh, there we go. Okay, I know that Hamilton needs to get some stuff, so... What I really need to do is draw this guy away. So I think I'll do that. It's taking me longer to take the city than I thought, so I'm going to send this builder back up to go do something else. And I'm just gonna have him wait. Oh, I can't even. I can't transition through Sith's uh, territory, even though that we're in friendship. Yeah, that makes more sense. You're in friendship. Do you, do you, you open have an borders. open borders? Oh, that's what I should have asked. Yes, for. you need yeah. open borders for that. Four. Okay, so I'm gonna put an attack right here. I don't want that to be a campus. Yeah. Harbor. Um, where do I request for an open borders? Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Where is that? You want to click on the person's name on the top right corner. So okay, find Sith Kitten and click on her. Okay. And it should bring up the uh, should bring up the diplomacy window. You go to make a deal, and deal. then open border, open border. Oh, okay. And if she's nice, she'll take it at at face value. If she's not nice, she'll make you pay for it. Make him pay. Don't. I'm not doing financially well yet. Still. <laughs> <laughs> So that fire is probably gonna force. Um. Build up there. Can somebody take care of the uh, Seth. Can you take care of the barbarians that are currently raging? I'm my, my okay, I'm thanks. I'm Thank you. Awesome. Has that fire just completely just stretched across the continent? The yes. Fire. <laughs> yes. Uh, but there's only like, I only built a camp here, and I suppose the campus. So we'll yeah, have to see a if... bit of a fire break. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see if this catches on fire. Probably will. I just, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can draw the pikeman up one and then put my settler on this, on this uh, tile and build a city the next turn. Hoping I can use these guys as baits. We'll see. It might not work, but I think it's worth a try. These guys already have man arms too. I need to I need to tech up. Jeez. Desynced. 
we'll pause it till the end of the turn. All nope, right. never mind. End of the turn. Okay. <laughs> and fire is still blazing here. It hasn't spread though, so that's kind of nifty. Arbor is completed. Getting extra gold per turn is nice. Lighthouses are always welcome, but right now they're not going to be that useful. Campus or an encampment. Neither are really going to help here. Theater might be nice. Or industrial zone. Yeah. Well, down here maybe. All right. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll set up a builder and then I'll tell the builder to clear away um, the tile so that I can build my industrial zone. That one's going to have to wait. These are hills. I kind of want to build on there, so I'll just build on there. Uh, what the hell is this? A skirmisher? Oh. Okay, so of course it spawned another damn unit there. Yay. Uh, yay indeed. So, I'm going to have to pull my archer back. And I can do a range attack on him. And I'm going to also have to pull this archer back. What, what? No, go there. Thank you. And then range attack as well. So you're going to have to skip your turn. Oh, the fire is over. Oh, thank God. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't clean my uh, stuff, so that's neat. But it's just dedication bonus tree if you convert a city to Oh, cool. I get some error score. Neat. Going amenities. Did I lose my archer? I lost my archer. Saw that coming. Alright. I can still withdraw to here. If I'm lucky, I can build my city. Ah! Alright, I can build my city. Document? Okay, now I'll go ahead and send my next uh, settler. Where'd he go? Here. I'm gonna set him all the way over here. It'll take a while for him to get there, though. And Bogota will build one more settler, and then we should be good for new cities. And we can work on teching up and all that good stuff. Oh. I don't want production. Fire's up. All right, so I was wrong. Now my uh, my deer are on fire. <laughs> Bambi all over again. <laughs> it's Bambi all over again. Right? No. And Gregor McGregor leads the troops in a parade after a stunning victory. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright, well. Let's see, let's hope that next turn we're able to build the city. If we are able to build the city, 
Then I can just buy a military unit, I think, and I should be good. If I can't, then I'm kind of screwed. Oh, I need a plantation here, ASAP. Where is this guy going? He's going there to build a... Okay. Alternately, I could put him over here. How many? He's got four builds. All right. So we'll build him over here. And then I could go ahead and build on the desert hills. I don't really care to do that, though. What's up, Duckman? How you doing? Don't you dare spawn another unit. He's, he's muted himself. Oh, good. And we've got a friendly city, so I could try to heal up there. Um... In the process. So I've got a city here. I don't know if I can build another city over here. One, two, three, four. One, two. No, I cannot. So okay. So here, and then here. Or I could build out here on whatever island that would be at, too, or something. Quack. There's yes. the duck man. What the hell is the Isthmus of America connected to? Oh, it's South America, as usual. That's South America, but what's over to the west? Oh, you don't know yet. Don't know yet. Okay. All right. Hmm. Yes! Oh, what the hell? It immediately spawned barbarian units? That sucks. <sighs> Victor! Go to Valencia. Meow, kitten. Meow. And then purchase. I have monument. That helps your loyalty. Yeah, uh, but I, I need to buy a military unit because look at this crap. Yeah. Um, crossbowman's too expensive, so that sucks. Uh, we've got spearmen and we've got archer. Yeah, horsemen will die against the spearmen, so just... Yeah, spearmen. I think spearmen makes sense. That way the city doesn't die. That's kind of important. And I'm going to continue my... falling back and firing thing, because that's fun. You guys are now healed, so you can come down and assist. gonna go there right and you're gonna build a mine temple has been completed here it did already oh a meeting house would be nice but I already did say I want industrial zone I'll get one production there commercial hub Oh, I can build commercial hubs elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, commerce hubs give you plus two along any river. Right. Right. So, let's think here. Uh, if I were... I'm going to start by building an industrial zone. Let's do that first. And we'll see where we're at. Uh, lighthouse here would be very handy. Uh, because it would help with all of our water resources. And like you suggested, a monument would be a good idea here. Absolutely. Also buying some land, because why not? Forest has regrown. We have mathematics in the year 1100. It's about the time they came in from uh, the Muslim world, the Arab world. <laughs> we'll be fine, says the citizens of Valencia de Carabobo. Cor Carabobo. Oh, mountains smoke a little, right? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Smoke a little. I mean, what is it? You had a forest fire already, so <laughs> I mean, uh, what's the worst that could happen? The important thing is now I've got I've got the canal going through here. So. Oh, look at you and your Panama Canal. That's right, Panama Canal. Very important. That's the thing, though. This map is so small that you don't actually need the Panama Canal in Panama. You just build a city there. Mm -hmm. Right. And but then your the boats can go through, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But, but there's there's a wonder in here called the Panama Canal. Yes. You need that, that's only useful for two or two two bit, bits of land across two instead of just one. Yep. And that's that's a that was a uh, a fan requested wonder for a very long time. Oh yeah. Um, but you know, I also built the city here because it, it's a good defensive position. Should Congo decide to attack me, yeah. I've got this city here Check. I can defend. How long till you guys revolt? That city revolts. Um, you just hold. You just a little. Your little city symbol there. Just hold it over that, and it'll give you where it's turned red on the left there. Oh, right, no, right where you were. And I'll let, yeah, right there. Seven turns. Seven. But that's before. That's but I'm, in three turns, Victor shows up. Yeah, actually, actually, the uh, loyalty applies immediately, mm -hmm. so that's already accounted for. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So that could be a problem. Yeah. It's because you built too close to Mimbazo. Yeah, well, I figured I can, you know, make into a forward base, but we'll have to see what happens. Looks like a good moat to me. Do y'all have fortresses? Yep. Right. Oh, so we're going into the Renaissance. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Artillery. Let's kill off those guys. Might as well fight and stalemate it. And I have Quadrine. Yay! Alright, Builder, you're gonna come down here. I'm gonna go ahead and build another Builder. And then we're gonna chop. Ah. Uh, huh. Pepper might be a good one to build. Petra makes it so that all desert tiles uh, get pretty good, good use, good yields. I do have a lot of desert tiles in Arizona here, so yeah, we'll go ahead and try to build Petra. Why not? How, how does that differ from the dunes there? Uh, well, this is this is flat desert, and this is hilly desert. Hmm. And you can see Much hilly desert. Difference. You well, you get one production on hilly desert. You get nothing at all on regular desert. Hmm. You can put a mine on a hill. Right. And that actually makes it useful. Still not great, but it's useful. <laughs> Why is there a canal on that island? <laughs> uh, that, that's hey. just, that's just how it's drawn. You, you know, I've always wanted to have a shortcut through Cuba, and that's just <laughs> that's just such a, an efficient way of doing it. Right. Well, if you look at any, any city built on a coast will have a little inlet there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The granary first, I guess. Cuba needs production. 
Oh, thank goodness, the fire is over. I do need poor to put a, a builder up there, though. Yeah, poor Bambi's about right. Aqueduct. I ain't gonna say anything. Two up here for campus. Holy sites? Three up here for holy site. I think I'm gonna want to build a worker up here first, though. Or builder. Pause recording for the turn. Alright, and we are back. Was that your explorer? Yes, sir. So, all that land is not necessarily water. <laughs> I mean, land. Land. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, there's different tiles that you have to decide what goes where and stuff, so. All right, I was going to send this builder to go here and repair that. Pillage to camp. This one pillage too? Yeah. So. Repair! Look at all that extra production. Yum, yum. Yeah, a little up to the north, but hey, you know, who who's counting? Who's keeping track, right? <clears throat> I am. <laughs> well, okay then. No, I'm not. The taxpayer. That's someone who works. For the soon, Zeph. Soon I'll be landing on your shores. All right. You said this uh, this game was available for cheap? It was. It's no longer on sale. But you can look at it for the future again. Hmm. Ah, we found the Galapagos. That on, was that on Steam? Yep. It was uh, $16. Uh, I went looking on Steam. I must have missed it. Oh, good. I think I need to make another settler, I think. Try to grab the Galapagos. That would really... Uh, my money that would might help with my loyalty turtles. issue but if they rebelled doesn't that mean that we just get uh barbarian units to show up for a little bit like the city doesn't just go away right off the bat right no it'll kick to free cities and then you can try yeah. to reconquer it yeah, but if you let it go, it'll eventually flip. Right. To uh, Mimbazo. Does that do the zones of influence? Uh, kind of, yeah. So there's a, a loyalty lens here. And you can see that right now there's loyalty flipping to Congo. Um, is that something that the enemy emplaced, or is that just natural? It's natural because I built a city close to his cities. So, oh, like. I see. As you look at my cities, for example, they're all loyal to each other because they're all near each other. So, oh, oh, there's a settler there. Come here, settler. No, you don't go up there. You're coming down here now, buddy. No. Come here. You can't settle on the Galapagos. I can't? No. I thought it's I could. You know, I guess. The nat natural wonder. I thought I could, but okay. Well, I can settle yeah, him on this tile problem. here. Yeah. And that would help loyalty if I put him on this tile. Makumal. 
It's gonna take just a few turns to get here, though. Nine turns. But hey, whatever. Get some XP from killing that thing. That guy, there we go. Alright, Victor is established. Yeah, see, now Rebellion has changed. Well, no. Was it seven turns before? I think it was. You're right. Okay. Hmm. You can afford to get that monument built. That'll buy you some time. Thirteen turns also for just, the monument. Also, just get some builders over there. Start building stuff. That helps. Yeah. I can... Try to... Hmm. The problem is that damn barbarian's in the way. Yeah, you have to go by ocean there. Yep. You had to suffer, let's, you suffered barbarians to live? I like what how happens to Victor. Your other what happened? cities gain four loyalty. What did you say about what happens to Victor? What happens to Victor if the city rebels? He just comes back and I can spend him someplace else. Okay. Anything I can sell you for gold? <sighs> he, he doesn't have enough. No, but we can get twenty-three gold. Well, I can get three more for open borders. I mean, that's three more gold than I had, right? Yeah. I could also sell him some influence. coming up on an hour of the recording so um guys we're gonna stop the recording here thanks all for watching this is episode i think five i think five of doing civ six i'll see you next time